Hello and welcome back. Yeah, it's been a while. Sorry guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is a tutorial based uh, research channel um, showing you how um, you can um, use the methods I use to enhance these uh, NASA images. Um, bit of a different one today. I, the do excuse me, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Um, right, this is a cropped still from um, some live moon footage. Uh, there was no information about uh, what orbiter was um, taking the footage. Um, and the footage, I went back to the site, this was on uh, YouTube. <coughs> and it's no longer available um i'm presuming that the guy has got well this is what it seemed like it's got some issues with youtube paying him and stuff things like that and he claimed that this footage was all his originally his type sort of thing and unless he uh, owns his own uh lunar orbiter thing then uh, uh, it's incorrect. So I've left out all the the times and stuff and things like that. But, um, I thought you might be interested because uh, yeah, it's very quite revealing. And I managed to take about fifty of these um, images. Obviously, very poor quality and stuff like that. So basically, I'll I'll show you what I did, which I don't normally use, but it's what I initially. Uh, used to um, see if there's anything in the image. So I'm just going to chuck some um, contrast in there and uh, you'll immediately see that it's revealing um, various things. Okay, so you can see, as usual, what we have to deal with in relation to the quality of the images um, that we get to see. So, okay. okay. So what I did on this one, and I started on it straight away, I used the contraster, which I don't recommend doing because as you can see, the darks get darker and the whites get whiter. So you lose a lot of information from the image. But let's just have a look. We'll start over here. Um, the reason I'm showing you this one is because I've done one which uh, is much more enhanced. But the problem with the, the method I use, it tends to sort of... Um, uh, bring too much out and unless you're aware of what you're looking at uh, it can be very difficult to decipher any um, details uh, so but well I'll, I'll show you that anyway so I mean, I've got a black and white one which is a lot easier to to um, to see anyway so mind is ticking as well so um, if there's any other information so um, on this on these uh, but it's worth doing anyway I mean if you are doing the research um, take some screenshots and, and see what you can find so we'll just have a look at these straight away and these are the classic um, craters which aren't craters they are raised um, platforms um, or um, of some description and you can see the shadows under these um, and you can see more constructions underneath the rim of this one here um, if you are new to the channel then what I do recommend you do is uh, pause these images and just let your eye mind get used to um, what it's looking at it takes a while
so as you can see here these shapes and formations and stuff which are yet again are all connected um, and certainly don't look like uh, the described lunar surface uh, surface which we're uh, told that it uh, exists which is rubbish basically go and have a look at all the I've done a fair few moon images now and uh, there's uh, there's no other way around it apart from uh, there's no other way to describe what you're looking at basically other than their 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 manufactured uh, structures so this area here has been enhanced more in this area here what I'll do I'll show you the um, I'll show you the uh, the fully enhanced one which you may find confusing and if we look at this area here you'll see you can't really see it because I've been doing so much trying to pull the details out which surprisingly there is um, for example, if you look in this area here, let's just get a tool, and surprisingly enough, there's actually quite a lot of detail to be had from these images. If you're new to the channel, the, um, I'm not actually drawing. Um, I'm just using a tool which will um, darken or lighten um, various tones of the pixels in the image. So it's simply darkening or lightening the information which is in in the uh, in this crop, or what is it? Screenshot, there you go. This line running through here is just me with sloppy enhancements. Um, so please ignore that. Okay, so original image, yeah. It's with a small amount of work done on it. And this is the, well, I suppose fully enhanced. So let's have another look. It's not the best of quality, but you can see what's going on in on the surface What's that?
Now, there are areas in this image where you can see blurring and stuff, and I don't know if that's from the motion of the, uh, the footage or not. Or um, just a standard sort of random blurring which seems to occur on a lot of these images. Now this this was the uh, the first one I picked out of the the, the fifty or so um, screenshots which I took, and I've had a look at a few others and uh, they're much better than this. But I thought I'd uh, start you off on this one. See what you think. The colour in this image, there was some colour, I'll show you. You can just about see some colour going on. Um, if I just pull the saturation, you can see, you can see it appearing. But initially, when I was uh, looking at it, obviously it looks like a black and white image, but it's been so completely and utterly bleached and blurred out that um, you can't see any of the colour. So let's have a look at the black and white one. hasn't had as much um, worked on on it as the other one but we'll go and have a look and we'll do a little bit of um, enhancing on it or just focus on a few areas like this area here For those of you who are not <coughs> familiar with this or used to seeing this type of uh, um, image, it's not the best uh, to start with um, purely because of the quality. Um, but like I say, just pause it and try and... Uh, get used to what you're uh, you're looking at okay see there's something here I don't know if you can see this but like on the other moon stuff and things we've done there's always uh, um, when you look around the edge of the the uh, so-called craters and stuff, you always find a lot of um, other structures um, that actually look like they that they're, they're underneath the the rims of these elevated so-called craters. Okay. So 
But it's like I always say, I mean, if you dig deep enough with these, um, you will find stuff. Um, which is a lot more detailed than the, the, the majority of the, the image. in there as well. So like the the idea behind this one is um like I've discussed before is that um you can pretty much um always find something in, in more or less any image of this uh nature This is an interesting area here. All this tool is doing at the moment you can see down here it's the highlights and dodge the dodge makes it lighter and burn makes it darker so to use all of them not so much shadows because it's very uh it it's a strong setting and it saturates um any colors in the image quite dramatically that's why a lot of the time I'll do stuff in uh, black and white very unusual stuff but you can see the, the tracks or the, the directions these Structures follow. And it seems to be a a um, a design which is uh, across the board. I mean, other moons and planets, comets and stuff. And I think I think we're over thirty now. I'm not entirely sure. Um, But if you if you are interested enough and you want to uh, investigate this, and and we've been all over all sorts of things from from the the uh, digital aspects and the cameras, um, et cetera, et cetera, um, to try and work out what we're seeing and. after I don't know how many years of doing this so we, it, it's the same conclusion we, it, it, this stuff looks like um, structures And like I say, this is not a great example at all. So um, go and have a look at the other stuff. And, um, and start making your own mind up.
So you can see the details appearing here. Let's just have a look at that on the colour one. This area here is this area here, so where we can see that really strange shape formation here. If we go back to that, you can see it here. Now, you're going to think I'm crazy. I'm going to go, I can't see anything now. But you just have to let your eyes adjust to this. And I can see minute details. That, there's that structure there. So you can see that there are parts of this um, structure in the shadows going underneath stuff or in shadows. See, I don't know what this would look like on a phone actually, but maybe you might be able to make some sense out of it. See the blurred area, blurred area. This is another little area with more minute details in. I should have maybe done some more work on this so, I, so you can see better but I've got a lot of these and um, because I'm up against time and stuff at the moment yeah but working um, it's interesting though I'll show you some pictures so I make I make props and stuff like that it's quite it's quite good fun. But it doesn't give me any time to do this, this work. You can see smaller and smaller details coming through. Now you can see the pixels will be at 400%. So I could make this about three times larger than it is. I think you might be getting the idea. So you can see that. And then this next to it. Almost like um, like we've discussed in other videos and stuff, there are all sorts of different um, like blurred areas, stretched areas, more um, uh, bit mappy type sort of looking areas um, which shouldn't really exist it should all really be the same so I'll just do this and then I'll leave this one with you and tell me tell me if you like it or not um, and like I say, the other ones are uh, much more revealing.
to know what that is. <clears throat> But you can see the uh, structural layout, the formations, the movement of the structures, as I call it, um, or the design. You can see how things are linked up. Um, we talk about this a lot because it's basically the same across the board, like I just said. Um, it's quite amazing. But there we go. That's just some simple screenshots um, and there you go okay um, I've got I hopefully I can do it this weekend but I've got um, can't even remember it was uh, but they sent a probe into some comet or something and they took photographs before it landed yeah very interesting <clears throat> so I will try and do that one today or tomorrow as well. And uh, yeah, well, as as always, um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something from it. If you haven't, go and look at the other stuff. Um, it's the only way to to start investigating. Is probably starting with a, a channel like this. There are a fair few of us doing this, and uh, the similarities. Uh, are, are um, astounding um, which I did mention in the last video it's great that um, there's a number of channels and we are all um, uh, showing the same results basically so uh, go and have a look and check everything out um, okay guys right nice one um, I'll speak to you soon